guys, it's Injuano here, and today I'm gonna be recording my iOS device. So uh, here we are, and uh, I think to start out with, I'm gonna play one of my favorite games on iOS, World Conquer 2. Once again, it is a strategy game because that's like my favorite kind. So um, I think we'll start out by uh, doing. The first battle in the campaign, the introduction, Blitzkrieg. It's in the uh, uh, Axis campaign, and I am in the south here. Um, basically, this video is mainly a test for what uh, is to come, which shall be uh, more videos of this type. Of course, we're going to be doing, uh, what's it called, iOS. So, as you can see there, uh, I did minimal damage, unfortunately. I think I'm going to... have troops in the south, so I'm gonna just go deploy them. Hopefully there's not too much lag, but, uh, if there's some, I don't really care. So, I'm just gonna finish off these guys. Conquered my first province from Poland. Now, these guys are pretty much done. I think I'm just going to finish them off with some tanks. My commander actually happens to be. And I'll take this province with my infantry. And create more stress by marching up there. I have a tank factory right here, so I probably will end up making some. Hmm. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is working, looking good for you guys. I really think that would be great. And if you would just leave in the comments some advice on uh, what iOS games you really want to see, then that would be really great and I could uh, get some stuff going in terms of videos and such. I think we'll upgrade an assault art on this guy. And yeah, that'll be my turn. What will my friend do? He's bombing, or no, he's not. He's doing airstrikes, and he's taking over. There's this general. Now, of course, I ha have played this game well before I just showed you guys. Um, so I have done this campaign in Poland many, many times. And they're gonna try to drive me out. That's so mean. Yeah, they're invading me. And now they're attacking me. What are they doing exactly? Poland? Okay, Poland is silly here. I have no idea what they're doing. Though it did succeed. His armor forces have broken through the outer defense. Now Warsaw is so close to us. If we must ride together, the victory can come earlier. Okay, then. Yeah, teamwork. Okay, I like your teamwork. Okay, I'm probably gonna need my uh, guys to defend this level 3 factory here. And I would not at all mind another tank. So I think I'll build one. Outfit it with some assault and defend arts. And since these infantry are in a good position, I think I'll give it to them too. That basically uses up my money. Oh no, that was terrible. Okay, I'm here, Commander. And I'm here, right there, right next to you. Now, if you would just start the invasion of Warsaw. Whoa, that was easy. They're done, practically. Yep, now they're done. Okay, now we're moving in on these guys, who should fall relatively quickly. If we can just wound them with our tanks, we can, yeah, take them out with the infantry. Now, I want to wound whatever is under here. Ah, a weak infantry unit. I can maybe do it with the armored cars, maybe? Yeah, I did it, okay. Now, move up my tanks, and yeah, that'll be this turn. So Poland's outer defenses have been breached, according to this guy. 
And he is right. But no, he's he's letting them oh, he's gotta take that now. Okay, he's pretty Poland is pretty much done except for Warsaw. Now we have several options. We could build an armored car, which would be useful. But we could also do on the contrary other stuff. I'm gonna quickly surround him. Cause I feel like surrounding him. He is now surrounded in Warsaw. Excellent. We'll keep moving up these tanks because there's a good chance our outer line will get breached, so... Okay. I'm gonna fire at him, even though it's probably premature and I'm probably gonna fail. Actually, I didn't fail that badly. Keep bombarding him. He... I didn't realize he had a thunder. What? Okay. I'll just keep bombarding him now with my other tanks. Wait, actually, before I do that, I might as well get ace forces on him. And I can't really make any infantry, so... I'll just keep bombarding him. And eventually he will fall. I really don't want to give the other commander the glory of winning this battle, so I'm going to try to deal the final blow. And, okay. He probably won't be able to take them out right there. If he is, then I am I swear I'm going to like get so mad. Uh, he's really wounding them. Okay, so this will be the final blow, I guess. And our tanks have arrived. Just fight that infantry. Um, with our commander, take out the infantry. It won't use any movement because since there's no barricade. Oh, there we go. We got him. About to. He is done. Defeated. The headquarters should, could never imagine that you could win in such a short time. That's a perfect victory. Victory. Uh, remind me later. Okay, then again, because I did it before, it does not change the 5 star rating, which means I get 0 more medals for that, and only 2 awarded medals, so whatever. Okay, so, that is where I am in the campaign. Also, to uh, just show a funny thing, here's a conquest map in this game that I did, and here is right before I got a complete victory. This is Spain, 1943. And as you can see, that is the last province that anyone has besides me. And I have tanks ready to take it right now. Um, basically, I'm here. I was here, and I started by taking a little land like along here from Germany, just nipping that away to about here. No, here. Then I had to fight some guys, so I started in my first combat. It was growing. Then, uh, the Russians got all the way here to Bratislava. They took it over, and my tanks confronted them there, finally defeating them. That was a level 3 fort, or er, factory, and then that was the only battle ever to be there. And, uh, yeah, then I ended up pushing forward. I ended up taking all that, and then they had retreated to Scandinavia. That's where they were entirely, so I took them over. Then I uh, invaded United Kingdom from Norway, just like Germany was planning to do in real time. Uh, then you might wonder, how did I take out my allies, like Italy, Romania, and Germany? Um, well, there's actually a super cheap way to do it that look, makes it look cool. If you have the tech, you, get, you can use nukes. Now, what you would have to do is really simple. You can nuke your allies, so just nuke their places, then just move in with nearby troops. You take the province, and then the allies can't take it back. So it's like, and then your allies can't take it back. So you're just taking free provinces, in effect. Because at this point in the game, when you're using nukes, nukes, you're basically getting a ton of money. You see here, I have the max amount of money. So, um, yeah, that's how I took out Romania, Germany, or Romania, uh, Italy, and Germany. And then here, I because I didn't want Germany to end the game by taking out England's provinces, that last province, I made a complete blockade so that no one could break through. 
because they don't want uh, since you're there out there your ally they don't attack you so yeah and then I just kept that province and we you guys will be special and get to see that okay so that is just an introduction to iOS gaming for uh, in Geronimo and I would also um, I won't mind so I have 165 medals to spend I can get a lieutenant colonel uh, to lead my armies which will be good um, he's 190 medals and he's okay so I think I'll, there's a good chance I'll get that but also I'm really looking forward I would like to get one of these guys um, I'm pretty sure it's between uh, the lieutenant colonel and the bronze armor medal so in the comments if you guys could just tell me what you think would be good this uh, is slightly more expensive but the lieutenant colonel looks pretty promising so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching and that's Aiden G signing out of the first episode of iOS gaming